never failed the test, never served a suspension, won an MVP, seven-time All-Star, six Silver Slugger awards, 273 lifetime batting average, 609 home runs. Yeah, but he's the all, guy, the guy's he would get in on his home runs, and that's what steroids are all about. So you take the steroids out of it, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. Barry Bonds, I believe he would be. Clemens, I believe he would be. But I believe, I look at Sammy Sosa as a creation. He was in Texas. The organization gave up on him. He didn't seem like he was a well-rounded player. He goes to Chicago. He hits a ton of home runs. And then he's out of baseball. So to me, that's a guy that was created I, I, by the steroids, in my opinion. I hear what you're saying, but my fear is that there could be well, other guys that were created. We just haven't heard I, about I, You can't play that game. I that's know. life. That, we're all playing but God that's life, when we Michael. Stuff. You know what? I, I'm not going to allow any customers in my, customers in my store. We are going to go full-blown on, on online because one person steals. That means everybody that walks in the store is going to steal. I'm sorry. We live in a world, whether it's right or wrong, is that the guilty are reserved for the ones that get caught. All right, so I can't worry about the people that did it that didn't get caught. But, but don't you believe that the writers are playing God and, and, and applying guilt to Gary Sheffield? Gary Sheffield was a tremendous athlete. He might have made the Hall of Fame. I agree Even with if you. he wasn't connected with roids. So I don't that, think that's right. It's just to do. such an uneven playing field, uh, and that's what they caused by using PEDs, an uneven playing field. Now there's an uneven voting field.